In schooling, geometry starts with Pythagoras theorem. Almost everyone in the world, irrespective of whether they are scientists, engineers, doctors, etc., has applied Pythagoras theorem in different walks of their life. So obviously all the literates out there must have learnt about Pythagoras theorem. Though you may be knowing the application of Pythagoras theorem, you may not know that this theorem is not his original theorem and is possibly copied from Indian scriptures. The reason I am saying this is because he never proved his theorem. One of the reasons why he was unable to prove his theorem was because of the faulty number system that existed in those times. Procedure of carrying the remainder of one column over to the next, dividing fractions, use of equations and letters were unknown to the western world in those times. Hence it was impossible for Pythagoras to prove his theorem. Now the obvious question arises. If Pythagoras didn't discover this theorem, then who the creator of this theorem is? Well, the answer is Bodhayana. What is Pythagoras theorem? Before I tell you about Bodhayana, let's have a recap on Pythagoras and his so-called Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras was a Greek mathematician said to be influenced by Greek prince Seleucius shortly after the Greek emperor Alexander the Great arranged his daughter marriage to an Indian king and sent an ambassador Megasthenes to the court of Chandragupta Maurya. The Pythagoras theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. Proof of this important theorem was not given by Pythagoras, but the Vedas reveal five extremely simple but different proofs of this theorem. Proof of this theorem is not only found in the later texts like Sulba Sutra, but is also found in the earlier texts like Shatapta Brahmana. Bodhayana, the real founder of Pythagoras theorem. Bodhayana was an Indian mathematician come sage, the author of Shulpa Sutra, Dharma Sutra and Shrata Sutra. Bodhayana not only proved Pythagoras theorem but also gave the series of algebraic triplets commonly known as Pythagoras triplets. Now the Sanskrit words from Shulpa Sutra written by Bodhayana is as follows. Why Bodhayana created this theorem? Performing yag is a very important ritual in Hinduism since time immemorial. Bodhayana was a master in performing Vedic rites, especially yagnas. To do yagna, priests need a rectangular altar on which the woods are burned to invoke God by chanting mantras. This rectangular altar must be of a specific length and breadth. To construct an exact altar, Bodhayana devised this hypotenuse Pythagoras theorem and proved it by measuring the altar with ropes of predefined with ten length. Ayurveda enumerates the various possible shapes of altars as shown below. Bodhayana and Apasthamba furnished us with details on these types and methodology to be used in the construction of these altars. Both Apasthamba and Bodhayana provided the proof of Pythagoras theorem. But unfortunately, this vital contribution was deliberately ignored and only Pythagoras was wrongly credited by Cicero and other Greek mathematicians for this theorem. Other theories by Bodhayana Bodhayana is also known for calculating the value of pi up to some degree of precision. Bodhayana is also credited to derive the approximate value of the square root of the two, circling of the square, transforming rectangle into square of same area, merging two equal or unequal square to create a third square, area of rectilinear shapes, etc. Besides this, Bodhayana also made several other important discoveries, most of which are still used in advanced mathematics. Why it is said that Pythagoras copied his theories from Indian scriptures? If you read out the theories of Pythagoras, you will find that his theory deeply reflect the Sankhyan philosophy which kind of depicts his familiarity with the Upanishad. Some of the theories of Pythagoras that matches with Indian philosophies are He believed in transmigration of soul, a concept that was alien to the western world. He believed in five element forming matter. He believed in various reasons for not eating the plants that are grown underground. He believed in religious philosophy closely resembling Buddhism. His content on mystical speculation strikes similar to the ones written in Upanishads. He wrote about the medicinal properties of plant that is Ayurveda and how to heal by the use of colors, vibrations, music, herbs, etc. 
It is said that during his visit to India, he gathered knowledge on various Indian philosophies and projected those in the West, out of which his hypotenuse theorem is known all over the world as Pythagoras theorem. Such a claim is not made by Indians. It was actually told by ancient Greeks themselves. Clement of Alexandria, hailing from Greece, belonging from 1st to 2nd century CE, in his book called Tromata, said Pythagoras was the hero of the Galatea and Brahmins. Similarly, another Greek philosopher from say 1st to 2nd century, Apuleius, in his work called Florida, said Brahmins taught Pythagoras the greater part of his philosophy. Another Greek philosopher, Philostatus, who belonged to the 3rd century CE, in his work called The Life of Apollonius, said that the Egyptian and also the Pythagoras studied under Hindu sages in India. Famous historians and authors on Vodayana theorem Sir William Temple said, It is most probable that Pythagoras learned from India and transported his theories to Greece and Italy. Egyptian themselves might have drawn their learning from the Indians. Another author, Abraham Seidenberg, said, Indian geometry predates Greek geometry by centuries. India is the cradle of knowledge of geometry and mathematics. Another author, Dick Teresi, said, Long before Pythagoras, philosophers in northern India had understood the gravitation and the solar system. George Cheveresi said, Sulba Sutra contains their own version of the Pythagoras theorem as well as procedure for obtaining the square root of 2 correct up to 5 decimal places. Sir William Jones said, The Greek writers themselves said that Indians were the wisest of nations and in moral wisdom they were certainly eminent. S. Crowder said, Before the 6th century BC, all the religious philosophical idea of Pythagoras were existing in India. H. G. Rawlinson said, Pythagoras was influenced by India then by Egypt. Almost all the theories, religion, philosophical and mathematical thought by the Pythagoras were known in India in the 6th century BC. Professor Maurice Winters Nietzsche said, It seems to be very probable that Pythagoras acquainted with Indian doctrines in Persia. Ludwig von Schroeder said, Pythagoras had been influenced by the Samkhya school of thought, the most prominent branch of the Indic philosophy next to Vedanta. Voltaire said, Pythagoras went to the Ganges to learn geometry. St. Colebrook said, A great degree of similarity exists between the Indian doctrine and that of the earlier than the late Greeks. Greek philosophy, especially between Pythagoras and Plato, was indebted to Indian thoughts. Pythagoras learned his theorem during his visit to India but hid his source of knowledge. Even though the West is aware of the actual creator of Pythagoras theorem, for some selfish reasons, they are still reluctant to call it Bodhayana theorem. The reason why the earth is heading toward destruction is because all the inventions of the ancient world were dedicated to God with no intention of materialistic desire, while the entire modern world discoveries are dedicated only to humans, only for becoming more and more attached to materialistic pleasures. That's it in this video. Keep watching for more such videos. Thanks for watching. If you like the video then please like, share and comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel.